So it's time to get real and talk about one of the most uncomfortable topics in my life. And that is atopic eczema. So when I learned that it was a DNA thing and it wasn't just something I could hide or buy at the drugstore to get rid of, I think is when I really went, oh man. But urban hydration has truly been a difference maker in my life. What I used to do is, well, I used to just scratch and itch and I've tried calamine lotion. I've tried changing foods. I've tried oatmeal. I've tried seaweed. I've tried drinking aloe juice because as a little girl, I remember having a patch of eczema here all around my neck. Here, I still got skin stains from it. Here, behind my knees, if you're a fellow eczema producer, you know what I'm talking about. You know those areas. I've seen it in even other places, hands, face. I've seen it in so many places. Here's the thing. In the city I grew up in, being dark skinned was like <clears throat> number one. And then I had the nerve to also have eczema. <clears throat> Talk about getting a boyfriend. No, it was out of the question. It's okay though, because I studied more than I focused on guys and now I own a business. Here's the thing. Eczema was and is so tough to have to deal with for me as a person. But then my kids came out with eczema. When they ate different things, when I ate different things, their little cheeks would turn pink. See, my skin would be gray and I would wear shirts to cover them. But my babies, I had to put socks on their hands so they wouldn't scratch. They would scratch until they bled and they didn't know the difference. Eczema is a beast and it has not been a friend of mine. But what I have learned how to do is to tame the beast. Aloe vera, while I was drinking it, it's gross by the way to just drink straight aloe. I'm just saying. I've decided, well, wouldn't it go great with glycerin and with other vitamins, taking out parabens and paraffins? Hence our aloe vera gel moisturizer. That thing is a lifesaver for me and for my kids. Also our, our oils, our body oil is like my daily bread. I love putting it on because it's lightweight, doesn't clog my skin, smells amazing. Whether it's peach and papaya, mango, vanilla, it's so good. It's olive oil, pretty much just olive oil, which is also really good for my eczema prone skin. Now, castor oil and shea butter, y'all, that is my go-to when things get rough and things can get rough. Those are ingredients that are so strong and supple to my skin. It's like eczema, get over here if you, if you dare. I love the products that we created. And we put on the label, if you got eczema or psoriasis prone skin, we got you. Well, that's my journey with eczema. That's how I deal with it, is I cover it. Instead of covering with shirts, I can be sleeveless because I cover it with Urban Hydration products. 